How do we turn data into development? Our starting point will be the information value chain, a simplified version of the ICT for D value chain that I discussed in an earlier presentation. The information value chain explains that we obtain value from information when it feeds into decisions that turn into actions that create development results, such as progress towards one or more of the SDGs. Information creates development value only when all of these steps are completed. But for those steps to be completed, we require a whole set of resources. First, data must be available with the necessary qualities to enable it to be processed into useful information. Second, those involved must have knowledge, awareness of the data, understanding of the development context, insight into the focal development problem, and so forth. Third, soft resources must be present. So those involved must have the skills and authority to access and apply the data and to turn it into actions. And social support drawn from contact networks will assist this. Fourth, hard resources are needed. Those involved must have the time and the money to undertake the information value chain processes. And they must access and adopt and apply materials particularly ICTs, but also other materials that might be needed to take action. For instance, to turn information into results via action, a farmer might need land, seed, fertilizer, transport, and so on. Finally, something I referred to in my presentation, what drives ICT for D? We need utility. All the resources I've mentioned so far are enablers, but the information value chain also requires a driving force. Those involved must perceive a value from engaging with the chain, some goal that they will realize through its functioning and will, which will motivate their involvement. So one practical implication of all this is that ICT for D initiatives must take a holistic approach. They can't just simply deliver the technology and stand back, but they must also attend to all of the other resources that have to be in place for the information value chain to fully run. Is the necessary data content available and appropriate? Have skills and knowledge and authority been provided? Do those involved have enough money to participate as intended? Will users be motivated to participate? And questions should also be asked about the nature of divisions and inequalities. Digital divides exist because some people have the resources shown and others do not. So what social inequalities of resource access exist? Income, gender, education, age, etc. And what can be done to address them? If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ICT4D textbook. And thank you for watching.